What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of... Oh, yeah! <laughs> Man, I was just about to compliment you. You still know the right buttons. Dude, I think we just roll with it. You gotta roll it's with it. another episode of... Oh, yeah! Which is otherwise known as... Yeehaw, Doug! <laughs> Yeehaw, Doug! Otherwise known as... Sup dates! There we go. Sup dates. It's been a while. It's been exactly... Three months since our last update. We are convicted mm. to get better at this podcasting thing. Mm. Just, man, I got taco chips stuck in my mouth. Work it out. Yeah, I'm working it out. We just, we're going to use the excuse of we just have a lot going on, but that's not a good excuse. That's lame. Yeah. So both sub dates and boss status have kind of been pushed to the side because there's been so much stuff going on like as i said on the last episode q2 of 2024 was our most ambitious quarter ever and a lot of that stuff has come to light and there's probably one or two other big drops before the end of the year that you guys are that we've been working on throughout the year that have been just consuming us really um so we are committed to getting better on that we even think we might bring back ask the boss I really like Ask the Boss. But so do we do it in a separate or do we start doing Ask the Boss updates compiled together? I think we do a little bit of that. That's like what open that, up to the original right. Ask the Boss right. got split into updates and boss status. And then occasionally we would sprinkle all in and ask the boss in the boss status episode. Doug, see, I think our following is what it is today because of our 2020 Ask the Boss I think it's partially true. I mean, oh, we yes. we broke the internet. We're gonna I mean, push. Yeah. We were doing green. We're screens. gonna push we're some dinosaurs. Uh, POV to get on some green screen action here. <laughs> Dude, those were ridiculous. They're ridiculous. If you guys ever have a chance, just search up uh, "Ask the Boss" and look for the 2020 episodes. Specifically, I think there was a Star Wars. There was a. It was the COVID era. It was so Jurassic Park. So, yeah, we were bored. Yeah, we were, <laughs> we were just really <laughs> bored. Poor, poor uh, uh, Bobby. It took him like 24 hours to edit those things. Like straight, like 24 hours of work. Not like one day of, uh, not an eight-hour day for sure. So, we will get better at that. We're going to get back to uh, podcasting more often. So, is there anything we want to go over in this episode before we jump into the updates? Oh, you know what we didn't do? Hmm. Uh. We didn't go live. Oh, see, that's how rusty. Do, do you have a podcast there, bro? I mean, uh, podcast. Uh, <laughs> do you what did you say? <laughs> well, we're having a stroke. Do you have a, you know what I mean? You know, one of those things that a you tripod. put a, that you put a thing on? The tripod. Yeah, let's, let's get this on, going. Put your phone on focus mode. Do not oh, disturb. Do I need to do that? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a lock. Focus. Okay. Fuck us. We're going to fuck us here. Do not disturb. <laughs> oh, baby. All right, so we are going live. We are live. POV, you want to stick it in there? You can, you can be in your own shoot. Say hi to POV. Hi. He's got a fresh outfit on. He's going to a right rock now. concert tonight. Yeah, I just want to touch your pants. And a uh, UFC fight tomorrow. Right. There you go. Oh, no, here we go. Perfect. Oh, soccer. You're mixing it up these days. Oh, here little, we go. little Lion King, Broadway. That's, little what, soccer that's what you have when you have a new, your new girlfriend. You just you do all these exotic things. All right, we're live. Updates. We just gave the world of updates the YouTube that will be going up and the podcast, a little update on stuff, and we just committed to doing some more podcasting. But now we're live here, so if you guys have questions, you can throw them in there. Um, but we will be running through all the brands and everything we have going on. But what else? What else do you want to talk about today, Meat? I don't know. How you Meat feeling? Meat Stick. I feel like this How table's How do you feel low. in today's world? This world of Man, election I'm just gonna, year, I'm juice, just, and... I'm just uh, tired of the idiocy that is in our country, and I really hope... This country votes the right way. Yeah. It's not going to fix all problems. It's no, 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 it won't. But the current problem. But it will help. It will help us. It will help. So we'll just leave it at that. We don't have to go too dirty deep in there. But no. Well, just open it up. It's, yeah. It's, 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 it's the fun part. Yeah. Like 2020, we were getting saucy. Yeah, we were pretty just saucing. I'm pretty sure we had like a Trump 2020 flag we were flying at one point. I think so. I think yeah, so. The election no, we definitely did. We have So we were locked down. It was an election year. Yeah, that's what was happening. Yeah. What a year that was. 
What a year. Anyways, so we're here now. What about you? You got a newborn. You had, when did, was she born? Oh, you had her. She's like six months old. Yeah, but now, I, so, yeah. I don't know if I officially announced that on a podcast. Oh, well, now I just did. So we have a five month old now. Yep. And two babies. So Ryder and Kennedy and our life is consumed. Yeah. It's good though. We're at that point where like she's like not a, in, like a newborn anymore. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's nicer. She's actually giving back a little bit. She's yeah, got a little like personality and smiling all that. Yeah. and giggling and yelling. And That's fun. Yeah. Well, I've been consumed with football. Coach. Coach yeah, Nick. I started sleep. I started dreaming in like coach, coach, football plays. So I've never played competitive football. I was always a soccer player, baseball, swimming. And so, but I always played a lot of football. I loved it. I was just undersized. But so I took on the role of uh, it's Jackson's first year playing tackle football. He's played a lot of. 7v7 and flag and griffin's also playing tackle but we knew who his coach was going to be and he's a good dude and so we we're like i'm going to go help jackson's team so it's been fun we have our first game next weekend so that'll be interesting how are you feeling you feel nervous I feel like the team i'll tell you what we did had our it's called the um the jamboree which is like basically you have three scrimmage games back to back to back so how long are the ga- it's 10 minutes of offense as many times as you can score you keep getting the ball back from the 40 and then it's 10 minutes of defense and you do that three times. So I, I said, I looked at the head coach and I was just like, man, I'm kind of nervous, you know, going into this. And he just laughed. He goes, yeah, me too. <laughs> so we went one, zero and one. So, which is, no, we went one, one and one. Griffin's team went two, zero and one. Uh, so it was good. It was good. But we have, uh, uh, I missed one practice for our managers meeting this week. And we had a little bit of a scrimmage with another team. And I heard it was all just awful. So. We're, is, quit is what it is. Yes, we had in that day one person quit. Nice. <laughs> the mom brought the uniform. Yeah, I just think this is just not. For it's him. really not. Yeah, it's really not youth football unless somebody's quitting. Uh, I mean, there are definitely. We probably have about. I'll be honest, four or five other kids that should quit. I remember one year we had a hill. Like we, oh, like our coaches were big on the condition, and there was a hill. And how many was, kids are crying on that hill? There, I remember that year. Like I remember a specific practice where two, at least two. We're done on the same day. Like I remember. It well, so like, apparently I missed it, but so our head coach is a um, was a very high level wrestler, so he's used to conditioning and toughness and all yeah. that. So apparently after the scrimmage, I think he was pretty pissed. Jackson's like he said a curse word in the huddle. He said the s word. <laughs> I was like, we can't do jack shit or something like that. And he spelled it out the first time, and he like, and the second time he said it. So we're gonna have to bleep that one out just in case Jackson watches this. Um, yeah, so apparently afterwards, he's like, the other coach told me, he's like, they ran for like, I don't know how long suicides. And there was like six or seven kids just crying that they were, they were going to die. So it was interesting that I missed that practice. So anyways, yeah, I've been consumed with that. We got a lot of stuff going on with the brands. Uh, anything else we need to get into before we get into it? I think we get into it. I think we get into some, uh, have we announced the IAPT? Yes. From here before? Yes. On the last episode, we touched on it. Okay. So let's start there. Let's start with the um, gyms. Let's start with the gym. So we've been saying this for months. So we opened our second location back in March. It's absolutely crushing. It has surpassed this location already. New members coming every day. Feedback has been amazing. It's really building the community in Mooresville. We're going to continue to get a ton of members. But we are opening up the basement, the powerlifting area, We've been working on it for six months. It was supposed to be a six-week project. It turned into six months because it's quite a, it's quite an operation. So, Aaron, you were there filming today the metal stairs that they were installing. I don't know if we want to put that film out there. It was definitely not OSHA compliant when they were rigging that thing up. It was kind of ghetto, but they will be fully OSHA compliant when, we're, when they're installed and welded. Um, and basically, we're building, cutting a hole in the floor and building steel stairs going down to the basement. So it's going to be awesome. So we have a big expansion coming soon, which should be done here within the next month or so, um, realistically. So uh, Grizzly Bear Designs, uh, Jesse's coming back to paint at the end of the month. Then it's a quick drop of floor. And What uh, can a member equipment. expect out of the basement? So right now, we only have one powerlifting, one flat bench upstairs and one squat rack. And no deadlift platform, which is unheard of for a gym. But we have so much badass equipment there that really no one complains because there's so much unique stuff there that people have never seen. Um, And then the powerlifters just haven't arrived yet. Yeah, right. And so the basement, we're moving 
that one rack and the one bench down there and the incline bench that we have. Um, and then we're doing like power lifting, you know, fat pad benches. Uh, we're doing uh, combo racks. We're doing four deadlift platforms, four squat racks. There'll be a four station down there. There'll be a, a flat incline decline regular bench. Um, and there's a bathroom down there as well is what, is what we're putting in. So we'll have all that. We'll probably also have a little bit of, there's an Olympic lifting platform. There'll be bumper plates. There'll be calibrated plates. Um, there will be probably an erg down there as well. So if people well, want any machines, it, so if you want to be a CrossFit, uh, maybe like a glute ham, something like that, but no, not really. Okay. None of the machines. It's all going to be free. I was free just curious if there was more room we need to make upstairs. No, all, all of it, machines. pretty much all of us staying up. And then when we do that, we got three or four more Panada machines that we're going to put into the upstairs. So okay. it's going to be a big, it's a big expansion, honestly. Yeah. So we got that going on. And then here we open uh, Crush It Athletics and Physical Therapy, which has been a real blessing. There's uh, Connor is uh, our partner in that. And then he, he's completely filled already. Yeah. So we're hiring for another physical therapist already. But, you know, we're, we're going to be very picky on who we hire. It's, it's got to be a growth mindset, somebody who's really experienced working with athletes and even, you know, strength development and things like that, performance uh, development, things like that. Uh, we've also added Garrett, who is our um, massage therapist here, who might develop into a strength coach for us as well. Um, so that's really expanding. That's in our Statesville location. So we're looking to hire here for another uh, location and then hopefully for another a position for a physical therapist and then hopefully around the may june time frame we're gonna go and put one in warsaw and for all you coliseum members your first evaluation at ciapt is on the house so you got to be a member it's got to be your first oh. evaluation oh no i don't know if that screws up the audio we'll have to find out well i'll just end it and then we can go back in so i don't understand so the dude so they must have I, I don't know Going back in. Here we go. Three, um, two. So, yeah. So that's that's been awesome. Uh, and it's cool to have, see the physical therapist therapy clients like out in the main gym. Oh, utilizing. We're working on like trying to really get, uh, get a little, little sample station going. So you get a little electric shred but while you uh, hit your, your PT work. Out we just got some really cool or? other, you know, um, uh, recovery modalities in as well. Um, which we will eventually continue to have expand. Have you used those boots yet? I have not used the compression boots and all that. used them on a – I had a little tune ski today, and he was using them on a, on a client. Yeah. So I got to get in those things. Yeah, and get a nice little chair to sit on too. Yeah. It'll be good. So that's been really good. Uh, stores mm. rocking and rolling. What else? Anything specifically going on with the stores? Well, they're running a Labor Day weekend sale, which will be po – this – yeah, it'll be too late. Posted, it'll be but, too late um, for that. But, but I will say we are one website. announcement is we are um, we're working on a very very comprehensive e-commerce site. So right now we just don't really focus on it for our stores, but with times changing and everything, we're gonna have a badass um, e-commerce platform to support our stores as well. So where you'll be able to get everything you get in the stores um, on our on our website and you know, that'll be something you're going to want to be a part of. Cause we're going to have some amazing deals that will compete with the craziest deals in the industry. And so that will be live prior to black Friday. That hopefully will be live probably early October. If I had to guess yeah. the other thing is we are moving our Manassas nutrition corner location. When does that happen? It, the build outs going on now. So probably sometime in Q4, we will, it will basically shut down for 24 hours, make the change and then reopen. And it's, literally down the street it's a shopping center right down it's owned by the same right. landlord uh the the space we're in right now is just way too massive and it just doesn't it, it's not a great space this is in a brand new shopping center i mean there's a ton of awesome businesses going in there it's right next to the texas roadhouse that is there's in the front LA there fitness early fitness there's just a lot of stuff going on there so it was better for us to move now that you're getting close to the end of our lease so we're moving that and we're doing a full build out we're going to change the build out a little bit like doing epoxy floor instead of wood floor doing some other cool stuff this yeah. time so that's happening in q4 i think that's it for the nutrition corners on the brand side um let's knock out america so we have sleepy joe we only have a few units left so if you haven't seen the sleepy joe um this is our nighttime sleep formula in a mint chocolate chip. The artwork is absolutely amazing on this. A uh, lot of little details. 
amazing formula that did really well for us. Um, like I said, I believe there's only like a couple hundred units left of this thing. Um, like 111 almost to be exact. Oh, wow. So there's, that'll be gone here any day. So um, that was a big drop for us. Our next big drop on America is Election Day. Mm. Mm. November 5th, 2024. 2024, uh, Election Day. Be on the lookout. Um, why is Election Day always a Tuesday? Do you know? I don't know why they have chose, chose Tuesday. It's just an interesting fact. I don't know. Just never thought about that. Went up in my brain. Because I remember, yeehaw, um, right. So, so that is launching on election day, and then for Black Friday, our, I'll already spill the beans a little here. We won't show the artwork because it's incredible. Again, we're bringing back stars and pipes. That's our non-stim pre-workout to pair with the red, white, and blue. The, the labels came out so cool. So never cool. big enough. Never big, big enough. <laughs> never big enough. Areolas. <laughs> um. So that's the short of America, long and short of America. They will be at the Olympia. All the brands will be at, all five brands that's will true. have massive walls at the Olympia. And it's going to be kind of cool. They're all like 15 foot high walls, backdrops, all the brands, America, Mile Blocks, Arms Race, Unmatched, and Core. Um, let's jump to Mayo Blocks. So Mayo Blocks, we launched... And our flagship product, Loco, went out of stock like immediately. And it took, there was some delays. So there was a probably about two month delay where we didn't have any Loco. Well, it's finally back in stock and it's now headquartered here in Statesville. So the cool thing about this is you can order basically all five brands from us and it's coming from essentially the same spot. Um, so if you're a retailer, that's super convenient for you. So when we launched the original Loco, there's four flavors and we had... Uh, Rainbow Haze was one of the flavors. Rainbow Haze had a rare label. It looks similar to this, but um, and one in every 12 units were those rare labels. This time we added another rare. So in addition to the one in 12 Rainbow Haze uh, rare, ultra rare, we have a ultra rare in the Galactic Glow. And due to feedback, oh, is it on here? No, it's not on here yet. Um, the newer labels... Oh, there it is. Rainbow candy. You'll actually see the, Ooh, what the flavor good. is. Uh, this was a, a run of the labels from the first run. But you can see this is the regular galactic gl glow. And then this is the ultra rare, which is only one in 12. So some really cool artwork on these. Just a little little bonus, a little kind of fun thing we did here. Um, and that's these are available now. So Loco, this is a fully loaded pre-workout. It's, I mean, it. It's, it's loaded. It's awesome. We've had amazing feedback on flavors, uh, performance. It's a huge scoop. It's like a 31 gram pre-workout. It's really good, really good value too. So that's live now. And then I will say we do have a Halloween exclusive, you know, mile blocks is known for the limited edition stuff. So we have a limited edition, um, uh, Halloween themed loco dropping in October, early October, early October. Yeah. Early to mid-October, but before Halloween for sure. So that's the next thing. And then we're already gearing up for Black Friday on that. We're doing uh, pretty cool stuff for Black Friday. So that is Mile Blocks Arms Race. So the last episode of this, we just talked about rebranding Arms Race. And it's out now. We didn't have the branding to show you then. It was kind of kept a secret. Feedback on the branding has been awesome. It looks incredible on a shelf. There's a lot of detail in here. A lot of Easter eggs in the artwork. Um, formulas are super affordable, but completely loaded. Uh, every product in the performance area is $44.99, yet they're just completely stacked. Um, we just launched, we launched with three flavors of each of the, um, three performance products. Um, and then we just launched the sour blue Raz and all those. That's what you see here. Um, yeah, I mean. Sour Blue Raz is one of my favorite fl flavors, so I'm glad I'm glad we launched that. We also have coming in the next month. We have, I would say, six weeks. We have two new flavors of the Isolate. Let's say they're seasonal, seasonal flavors, and then also we have two new products dropping. Yep. We have Daily Amino. Yep. And Replenish. Daily Amino is like an EAA product with some other goodies. The Replenish, which used to be our EAA product, is now our hydration product. 
in a stick deck. And I'm not going to give any more details than that because this hasn't really even been announced yet, but those are the next two performance products dropping for Arms Race. Hmm. Huh. Pretty excited about that. The Replenish is awesome. I'm a huge I'm fan getting, I'm a of Hydrate fan of this, right now. This new branding. Yeah. I'm getting... Uh, so, we're sending it out to a bunch of bunch of accounts and uh, getting good feet. Like, I've just got a text. Like, I really like this branding. Can you give me a sales deck? So, yeah. New branding on point. Yes, sir. Um, let's, let's jump... Before we get into core, let's jump into Unmatched. So, Unmatched launched uh, June 6th, I think. It's been kind of crazy, I'll be honest with you. And we expected the brand to do really well out of the gate, but it's been a little bit overwhelming. It's been awesome. Um, we just shipped a ton of product to Vitamin Shop nationwide. So that will be rolling out. Literally, as this launches, you'll see it rolling out. I guess official launch date is like the 9th, but it's live. It, I mean, it's going live. It's yes. live on their website. It's on the shelves. Um, so again, that brand, no artificial sweeteners, no artificial colors, everything's natural in that regard. So it's, it's based on, so there's no like sucralose or ACE-K or any of that in the flavoring. Uh, we nailed the flavors on this. Um, it basically bridges the gap between biohacking and bodybuilding in a, in very, in a very short uh, description. So we're really excited about the partnership. Chris and I are going to some vitamin shop. We're going to have a vitamin shop event September 16th from four to six at the East Rutherford, Jersey location, because we're going to be at the headquarters there for like a symposium of different uh, brand leaders. Symposium. Um, some, I don't know. I just kind of made up that word. I don't I know like if that's that technically word, what they're calling it. It's but a good word. Um, so that is uh, September 16th, that event. So if you're around in the Jersey area, East Rutherford Vitamin Shop will be there. Um, David Dodger will be there representing the brand as well with the new Unmatched Mobile. Um, he'll be visiting Vitamin Shops nationwide here shortly. So yeah, a lot going on with that brand. I will say that we have new flavors already in the works for all the products. I'm not going to run through all the products here. That's going to take too long. And we have another pre-workout coming. Um, so BH2K, our flagship pre-workout is not launching in vitamin shop. Another one, which I'm not going to talk in detail about another one is launching in October in vitamin shop. Specifically for Vitamin Shop. Now, it will be available elsewhere, but we work very closely with their team based on, you know, different uh, industry trends. Uh, this this product is going to be awesome. It's going to do really well. Yeah. So uh, that pre-workout, that stim-based pre-workout will be rolling out into Vitamin Shop. Right now, they only have the Dissident, which is the non-stim pre, Electroshred, the hydration product, and Longevity EAA, our EAA product, uh, and the protein, uh, and Amino IgG. But... There are other SKUs that are just got approved, hint, hint, that we'll be talking about that will be rolling out there as well. Good stuff. So that's that's unmatched. And then we just launched, what, how long is it? Two weeks ago? No, last week. Last Was it last week? Man. This is the... So yeah, oh. I guess two weeks in on Monday. The Fun Sweets Orange Cream. One of the best tasting products that we ever did. So they have their orange cream cotton candy. This is one of their top sellers. And I love orange cream to begin with, but we did it in the pump. We did it in the fury. Huh? We did it in the hydrate. And I think the fan favorite is the ISO clear. So this is like favorite. ridiculous. ISO clear has so been doing good. amazingly well for us in all the fun sweets flavors, the cherry berry and the blue raz. Um, if you haven't tried it, it's, it's like a clear, it's a clear ISO. So it's like, instead of like your thick milky ISO, it's more refreshing and clear. And it's just, it's the perfect, the orange cream is perfect because that tiny bit of, of milky taste in there is perfect for the cream. So it just, it works really well. And people are excited about that. I've been crushing this as my pre-workout stack, the hydrate, the pump and the fury. And man, I'm like in heaven driving to the gym. It's, it's so good. It is. So I think good. we still have some promo boxes available. Yeah, and this for the well. first time we we opened up the promo boxes. We actually took it down, but we did find some more boxes, so we just added nice. it back up. Um, so the, these boxes are available if you want to get the whole stack. Which we every time we do these promo boxes, you know, people get excited about them. They're like, "How do I get one?" I'm like, "Sorry, sorry, Mike can't get one." That was you good, went right? in Australia? Yeah, I don't know. I just went to Australia for a minute. Um, but yeah, so there might be a couple left on the site if you want to grab all of these uh, flavors, et cetera, et cetera. The one final thing, we're coming up on 25 minutes. That's a good, that's a good spot for us updates. It's a good spot. That's where spot. we need to be. 
The one other thing that I want to go over is, and I hinted at it at the last update, what was um, the biggest license deal that we've ever done for any of our brands um, is launching September 20th. So when this goes live around, this will go live around September 3rd. uh, Within the next two or three days, you'll see the first teaser for this uh, collaboration. And then over the next week or so, we will then make the announcement and talk about what we are doing with this collaboration. And then it will finally be released on the 20th. So this has been a massive project. From top to bottom, I don't think there has been a more integrated um, experience in the supplement licensing area than this, this project. So right here, hold on. There it is. That's it. What do you guys, What do you think, guys? It's a nice box, Doug. It is a really nice box. It's a. It's a nice. It's, it's nice and white. It's a great white box. Yeah. This is it, folks. It's, nice. it's got a nice square. Now, square next time, edge to it. Oh, it's a rectangle. Is it square or rectangle? But it's really nice because it's got magnets and it's like very sturdy. Yeah, it's very sturdy. But I want there's there's even other bells and whistles here. But I'm not going to uh, release all that yet. But just know what's in this box is the culmination of like a year of work. And I really feel like we captured everything about this license in these products and in the presentation and experience of the products. So, um, yeah, man, I'm so excited about this. Yeah, I want to say so much. I want to say so much. We probably should do a subdates, ju- just the subdates on this because, you know, this is really the culmination of 20 years in this industry and, you know, Basically everything we've done from a ever done from a branding perspective, um, we pulled together on this one. So from the the lids to the seals to the neck bands to the labeling to the layers of the labeling to the experience of the product to what's inside the product to just yeah I'll just leave it at that. This is. Um, I'm super excited about this. This is near and dear to my heart. The team has worked extremely hard on this, and I hope you guys will see that uh, when we can finally release this. But you guys are going to be blown away by this. I don't. I can't say any more than that. I think you just dropped the mic. Dropped the mic. Yeah. What else you got? Is that it? I think that's it. Until next time. I think. I think we did it. I think we did it. All right, we're that's back it. in the game, dude. I feel so good about and, it. until next time. When we reveal what is in this big white box, keep crushing it.